So I'm in Finky Gorge National Park um, after a bit of a wild ride along the four-wheel drive only access road and I am doing one of the Palm Valley walks. Well, two of them. I'm doing the Ampara and Kalaranga walks. Now these two walks are the easier to get to of the, the walks in the park um, and they form a 7.5 kilometer uh, figure eight walk. Now, I was intending to do both this and the Palm Valley Walk. However, given I had a choice between the two, I decided that the longer one with the more interesting rock formations would be the one I'd do because I'm a sucker when it comes to geology. So, let's go see what it's all about. So that's interesting. I've just passed what looks like it could be a glamping setup. Reminds me very much of what they have at Karajini. Didn't hear anything about it. Um, nothing was mentioned in the notes, but that's, you know, something to look into later because I think that would be a nice way of staying here. Anyway, press on. And the mobile hotspot. So this is a marker that shows that in 1988, the flood level here of the Finky River reached this height. And as you may see, that would mean the entire glamping area would be flooded. So it's amazing when you consider that probably most visitors who see it will see it as a dry riverbed, but the amount of water that flows through here can get to that high. It's crazy. So this is a lovely treat. Now, while I'm not doing the Palm Valley Walk itself, those palms behind me are the same kind of palms that you find in and along that walk. Now, the red cabbage palm, which is this palm, is the only palm that is found in Central Australia. So yeah, it's a real treat to see this along this walk. So another cool feature of this walk is that it is a dreaming story and it's the Ampara story. Now I'm not going to tell it because I wouldn't do it justice, but along the way there's information about a lesson that is taught to children. Uh, so yeah, another great feature of this walk. Going up. 
just ahead of me here, I can see the uh, shelter at the start of the walk. So that means the, I've finished the Impara loop and now I will do the Kalaranga walk. So just passing the shelter, I had a look at the map again and it's saying that Kalaranga is just there and back, which is interesting because the guidebook I have says it was a loop. So either things have changed or the guidebook is wrong. <laughs> uh, whatever the case, we will find out what it is for sure once we get to the end. So the Kalaranga walk definitely did have a very finite ending. So um, it's not a loop and I'm walking back along the way I came. And that concludes the Kalaranga and Mpara walks. Both of those were absolutely fantastic. While, you know, all the walks here are very much red dirt, blue skies, you really can't complain because even though they are the sort of the same, they're all very different and this is, was no exception. I really enjoyed the ruggedness of this walk, the, um, just the way that the path went through the seat, the landscape, really just couldn't complain. It was a marvelous walk and was well worth the effort of getting a high clearance four wheel drive just to get here. So yeah, if you're considering uh, Finky Gorge, oh, watch your step. I can definitely say it is worth the effort to get out here. And uh, nice and quiet too. 